quilts and I am back from a well-deserved vacation I really enjoyed my vacation to Puerto Vallarta and got to relax got to see a few variety shows and just great food I got there and we went on a few sightseeing tours so I'll do a video on that on some of the things I didn't get a chance to record all of it because I was having a great time enjoying myself and just did not want to pull out the camera all the time but I also wanted to ask a favor July is my birthday month my birthday is actually July 28th and I'm asking for you to donate a block that I can use for a charity quilt Every year I make at least two quilts for charity, but this year I ended up making four because we had an organization that's starting a women's shelter and they needed quilts for 24 beds. So I donated two to that organization as well as two to another organization that another gill of mine donate to. So for my donation quilts for next year, I thought that I would ask you to play along with me. So we're going to do what I call string or mosaic blocks and so I'll talk about the mosaic blocks in just a moment but I just pulled a couple of examples of string blocks so I've got the strips where they're sort of kind of straight up and down notice on these blocks you do not have to have accurate one quarter inch seams so this is a great opportunity for beginners to participate and then here's another one and on this one I used these in my twirling string so they were just left over but they're not big enough so they would have to come out a little bit more because that's requirement number one I will then get those blocks and square them down to ten and a half because I want to make sure everybody's block is the same size so rule number one is send me an 11 inch block but I want to then go ahead and say you could also make a crumb block as well and this is one where I had little pieces left over from when I sewed a flip corner. So I just start sewing those together. Had some kind of strip piecing here. That was the end of the strip set. So I used that. So what I call mosaic blocks are actually crumb blocks. And you're just kind of sewing haphazardly various things together until it gets to the size that you are needing. And I often take things that are left over from other projects, like this was a block that I had from a six inch finished string quilt. And so I just used that and started building out to make it bigger. So it's a lot of fun. I have a lot of videos that will show you how to make either one of those blocks. And I will link them in the description box as well as up at the eye above. Now, what I didn't show you, and it's actually in storage, packed for a um, lecture I got to do, is that you can put your point, your blocks, on the diagonal. You can actually take a square, and I don't happen to have a square here. Let's see. But let's just imagine that this is a square, and then you could put your strips diagonally across the square as well so you could make your blocks that way and that would be acceptable as well so I'm not picky just have fun making it and where do you send it you actually send it to my PO box is down in the description field below I will also pause the screen and add it in the video right here And then again, I will be linking the videos for you. So if you are a new person and don't know how to make a block, you can do that. The two fabrics that I'm asking you not to use is the white background prints like this heart. And then I'm asking you not to use any black background prints. So you can use any other colors in your blocks that you like because then I will decide if I'm going to use black or white to set the blocks depending on how they look when I receive them. So 
that's it i hope you all participate in this journey with me i will show you the blocks as i receive them um hopefully i normally do like mail call for the month but if i get a lot of packages and it's taking me a while to get through the blocks then i will do them on a more regular basis so i thank you all hopefully you all will participate on this journey with me and i'll see you next time Bye bye Thank you.